everyone, I'm Graham from Weave. In this video, I'll show you how to add new coins to your MetaMask wallet. I'll first show you how to do this in a very simple way, and then I'll show you a more advanced way that will help you get set up if you're diving deeper into DeFi. If you are using the Weave platform and you want to add the Weave token to your MetaMask, all you need to do is go to weave.financial, launch the dApp, make sure you are connected to the Binance Smart Chain network from your MetaMask, See, I am. Then you just tap on the Weave logo and you'll be prompted in MetaMask to add the suggested Weave token. Tap Add Token and then open up the MetaMask account again and you'll see a nicely branded Weave token in your MetaMask wallet with the right contract address. Easy. If you want to add other types of tokens to your MetaMask wallet, you can do so from coin listing websites like CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko. I'll show you that now. If I go to CoinMarketCap.com, you would search for the coin you're looking for, and if it's a very popular token, it will be listed on this site. If it's something brand new, it may not be available here. So for this example, at the time of filming, if I search for Weave, I don't see it listed here because it's not yet listed on CoinMarketCap but the Binance US dollar is, so I'll tap on it. This takes me to a page with all the token details, the price, the market cap, trade volume, supply information, and then the trade history down here. And then it also includes this area here called the contract addresses. These contract addresses are what you would want to copy into MetaMask to add them to your wallet. With MetaMask, you can quickly tap on the Fox icon to import that token address. If you see this message pop up, it means that you're trying to add a contract address from one blockchain to a different one than you're currently connected in MetaMask. If I open up MetaMask, you can see that I'm on the Binance Smart Chain. And if I close this, I was trying to connect to the Binance US dollar on Ethereum. So you have to make sure that the contract address you're trying to add is the same as the blockchain that you're connected to. So instead of adding this contract address, if I click on this more option, I'm able to connect to other different blockchains that this token is traded on. This may not be a complete list of everywhere that this token is traded on, but it is what's supported by CoinMarketCap. So I'm looking for this one here, which is the Binance Smart Chain, BEP20. This is the contract address that I want to add to my MetaMask wallet. So I'll tap on the little Fox logo. It will then give me the recommendation to add the suggested token with the nicely branded logo. I'll click Add Token, open MetaMask again, and you'll see it here, the BOSD right here. So now I have nicely branded tokens in my MetaMask account. If I wanted to add this Ethereum contract, all I would have to do is switch this from the Binance Smart Chain to Ethereum. And so I'm on my Ethereum account. And then instead of clicking the more option, I can click this Ethereum contract to add that token to my Ethereum MetaMask account. Okay, like that. To remove a token, you would tap on it and then hit the hide BUSD option. If you want to remove a token, it's a very easy process. I'll scroll down to the BUSD, you would tap on it, and then you click on the hide BUSD option to hide it. So adding and removing tokens to your MetaMask wallet doesn't actually remove the amount of funds you have in those counts. This is just a visual representation of what's available to you on your address on the blockchain. So you can add and remove tokens as you want without affecting any balances. So over on CoinGecko, it's a very similar process. You search for the token you want to add to your wallet. I'll search for BUSD, which is the Binance US dollar. Tap on it and you get the similar information you saw on CoinMarketCap. Price information, market cap, total supply, volume, and then down here you have the trade history 
And then over here is where you have the contract information. So similar, you're seeing here, this is the Ethereum contract address. And if I tapped on this, it would add this contract address uh, to my wallet. You wanna make sure you're on the right blockchain. So if I click on my MetaMask wallet, I'm on the Binance Smart Chain and I wanna add the BUSD to my account here. So I'm going to click on the, the ellipses, find it, and you can see on CoinGecko, the Binance US dollar is supported on more blockchains. I am looking for the Binance Smart Chain. I'll tap add to MetaMask. It will open up my MetaMask account and then provide the suggested token here with the branded logo. I'll add that, open up MetaMask, and you'll see my US dollars account right there as well. It's a very similar process and you can do this with any of the coins. If I wanted to add the Polygon Matic coin, um, again, it defaults to the Ethereum network. Since I'm on the Binance Smart Chain, I can add it here by clicking on the Add to MetaMask button. And that will add the Matic token. And you'll see it here on the list, Matic. So very easy, and this will work for most supported tokens, all the popular tokens that you're likely to use day to day will definitely be supported on CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko. It's only when you're looking at newer projects that haven't had a chance to be listed on those sites yet. So that's what you wanna look out for. The last thing I'll show you is a more advanced way to do this. If you are new to cryptocurrencies, I do not recommend this approach as it can open you up to scams if you're not very careful here. For some tokens and projects, the MetaMask icon is not always available for a quick import of that token address. So if you open up your MetaMask and tap on import tokens and tap custom token, you are able to manually enter the token contract address here. For the purposes of this example, I'll quickly copy the Binance US dollar token address. So go over here. copy the address instead of clicking the add to MetaMask button. And paste it in here. When you do this, the token symbol and token decimal places will automatically fill out and you can add the custom token to your wallet. And you can see it importing here. You may or may not get this pretty branded logo here but you will be able to add any contact address for that specific blockchain. So that's it. Now you know how to add custom token addresses for Weave and other cryptocurrency tokens. If you haven't had a chance to check out Weave, it's a decentralized finance app for yield farming, which may sound complicated, but Weave makes it very easy for crypto beginners to partake. Check out the links below in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next time.